You create with Java with N. How about the rest of you? Did you let that bin? You use N as well. So they have different framework. So once you create this, okay, it's a Java application. Uh, okay. Then you plug in the project name that you want. Then you check with the path. Where's your path that you created? So this part you can change here. No? Then let's say for example this one called test Okay. I put it in the desktop. Uh. Put it in the desktop. Go for this file called application called test thing. And click finish. Is it okay? This one is a uh, beginning. So the rest of yours can you pick up your own? Uh? The rest of the function and so on. from your like a cup of coffee it's a project so inside they have a sauce sauce uh, the sauce folder here yeah? sauce package is inside okay. source code every time in the lab because uh, I will because since your, your group is come from different background okay I try to discuss one questions for the practical discussion with you huh? so open up uh. open to download first first one also can ah uh. huh? download it first uh. Thank you. 
Yeah, the shape holder. Miss you, ah. 
for handling for this data structure. So, <laughs> so in, uh, for the question you would like to ask, you can go to check me, but please introduce yourself. Who are you? Which program you are? What subject you are taking? Because I am handling two subjects. Another subject is open for management. And I have two batch of final year subjects. I have two batch of internship students. So total era la. I school you la. I got 30 students on my hand now to take care. So introduce yourself for you la. If not, you just miss something. I will ask you. Who are you la? Analytical skill is better than me. Okay, especially software tech. Ah, I asked Mr. Andrew. He told me, ah, game student here. Yeah. Very good. I said, okay. Then this round will assign me for this. Okay. All right, W student taking those are what is more on algorithm, ah, right? So I hope that this round I can learn from different programs. Ah, software software development. I know them before. Okay. So uh. Just to let you know, I'm different from other tutor. Ah. I know that other tutor teaching programming subject ah, guide you step by step, do one by one, tuck in. Sorry, I'm not that kind of category. Ah. First day, I let you know first. Then after that, you complain. Compare Miss Yo with other tutor. Last time, my OOP, what is a tutor? Guide you step by step. Sorry, no. No. So, myself, Miss Tarama, Miss Catherine, and Dr. Wong, and so on, last six tutor, we have agreed that for practical, we want students to be learn independence as well. We I will provide you the guideline how the way you do. What is the requirement of the question you need? Okay. So you need to pick it up lah. All right. Is it okay? So I'm different from your last time your previous tutor ah. Let me step by step show you. Tuck in line by line ah. Maybe first pre practical I will do like that lah. Each practical I try to discuss one question for you. Is it okay? Hello. Yes, ah. Yeah. Okay. Let me summarize what I'm going to be cover for. This is my plan. The reason I use this is because around here, you may able to start, start your do your assignment. If I follow your lecture speed, ah. Around week six. Around week six, <coughs> only you learn something in chapter four. My one practical four. You want like that lah? Assignment week ten submit leh. Hmm. Yeah, week ten submit. This one is the last time I handle short semester student lah. Huh? They also feel this subject is quite, uh, quite packed because it's learning data structure. You know what I mean by data structure? Ah? Let's say for example, this is the, the water bottle, right? Huh? Normally you learn OP, you learn how to define the color, the shape only, right? But now the structure is how you fill in this water inside. What is the volume you want to control? You want to know as data structure. So one of them students don't like it, uh, is this subject. Uh, I think C++, plus plus, uh. you know pointer? Eligible to take, so means that all of you are is a good student. You pass for that subject only. You can take this, okay? So for today, ah, I'm planning to cover one A and one B, but because of dragging the time, now I only started my class around eight thirty-five. So just now and so on. So I try to do this, ah. Huh? 
for you today, A and B. Huh? So I assume uh, uh, what I follow today is this two. Uh. This one is the first practical. So before that, you, you know what I mean by abstract data type, no? Do you know what I mean by abstract data type? Okay. Last time you learned in Java, you, how you declare, let's say declare name. Name, variable. What is the data type you use? String. String. Okay. String itself is a data type that is available in Java. And that one called primitive data type. But this one now is called abstract data type. It means that this data type is created by you as an author. You create a, 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 a data type. This data type is allowed client to use this data type to do the code. Previously, you use a string, a character. A, that one is already predefined, right? Do you, you do you create yourself? Do you create a, a string data type for yourself to use it? No, right? No. So they run called primitive type. So this abstract data type for first practical for chapter one is they available in your this one called A. You know API? API stands for application program interface. So in C you call library, is it? Yeah you C++, you will uh, import your library, right? But yeah, I try to use some word because for RSC, you know, C++. You, in, you include, sorry, uh, C++ called include, right? Include the header file, right? ST, STD, IO, something, right? So in Java, we call API. So in order to use this abstract data type available in the Java framework, this one called API, you need to import this. Import java.ut. Please. Second one be java.ut.stack. So currently for first practical, we just introduced to you what is abstract data type. You import. But I want to let you uh, alert for this. Assume that you are Import, you will fill your assignment. You will fill your assignment. So I just want to let you know first. So first class, first chapter, we just want to introduce because you don't understand what is abstract data type. Right? First time you're learning now. Right? Right? Now you understand what is abstract data type. Right? Got, got idea? Right? Okay. So first abstract data type that I introduced. So today I just cover this and set up. This and set up. So the rest I will cover in everything up. Yeah, because I need to do my homework to prepare for you how I do the guide you. So I just summarize. Because you attend my class, you want to know and understand what I teach you, right? Not just follow tutor to type the code. So my teaching style is different. Huh? I want you to understand how to apply. Okay? So today I just cover this and set. Okay? Any question before we move on? Any question you'd like to ask before we, we move on? So far, so good, huh? Okay. Look your practical question, huh? Look your practical question, huh? Three of you, ah, uh, do me a favor, ah, uh. do me a favor, ah. Uh. Uh, three of you find a consistent time for me for the the Facebook class to do because my team week three, ah, uh, is a holiday. You let me know for your which which day you're free, which day you find a consistent time. Then after that next week, can can let me know? Can inform me, Miss? Which day which day I'm free?
this. What do you mean by this? Because of she getting the workshop, so that is why I cover here. Like today, now I'm giving you lecture, lah. Huh? Ah, no choice, ah. So this part, doc clear means you want to clear everything in your array. You call doc clear, they clear everything for you. Start from index zero, already. Contain means in your array, you store in the value, you pass in the big O object. You want to check. This value that you pass in, your target value in the parameter pass in, is it exists in your array or not? So they have you to check in. So you no need to write your method to call check existence because this already available in this API. So how flexible, right? You're so happy uh, using first uh, practical like this. But your assignment, you can't do that. Uh. You have to create your own one. Yeah, you have to create your own one. For assignment to create your own API. Uh. Okay. Then for get means retrieve. So in the array, you want to retrieve index zero, right? You pass in int, int index zero. Your object dot get something. So they help you to retrieve. It's empty, you know. Huh? While your object dot is not empty, exclamation marks. It's checking whether your array, the value, 
still got an option is written true or false. Dot remove is very straightforward. You pass in which position in your index. You just go to the index and move on. Last one is dot size. Uh, don't use dot length. Uh. Dot length is used for string. Students uh, always miss out for this. Uh. For array, uh, they use dot length but got error. Uh. So dot length is used for your string. You know string? Uh? String. Uh. It's a common mistake my, my student did la. Huh? Just learning from each other There's Sometimes you ask me Miss, I found this mistake And you say sorry I never seen this before You Can you online search And so on If I know I will let you know in the class la. Okay Any question for this The methods available seen the reference type reference type or int how to become an integer we call wrapper class 
So this one only accept the reference type or the wrapper class. Wrapper class means uh, INT is called integer. Child, eh? Child, the wrapper class is called character. Yes, you're right. String can. String is a reference type. Double. Eh? Double, but big capital D eh? for the class. So this one will be how more detail in chapter 4. Not, not today. Eh? Okay. So after you declare this call list, okay, first function, I would like to add the test call. I want to add in your test call is 10. Which method I call? Eh? Just now I show you the, the table. Small list dot. Add, eh? For me, I call first one. Eh? I don't want to specify which position. I just add them in. Inside. Are you okay? These two, I use scanner. If you don't want to use scanner, it's okay lah. Just hard code the data lah. You know hard code lah. You know the hard code. Hard code means. First, lah. Listen first. After that, uh, this one I allow you to screenshot, but only not the source code. How to di display? Ah, uh? 
yes how to display scrolly dot display ah. sorry i don't have this this metal lock scrolly dot get but if you call scrolly dot get you just can retrieve you just can retrieve one value right so you need to declare a a for loop i sharing my logic lah, ah. declare a for loop so the for loop when you declare for loop ah, declare for loop you array start from array start from zero this is an uh, object that you declare for your array name called scrolling, sir. Dot, the, not the length, uh, dot, size. Why dot size, sir? Eh? Why dot size? This is available in uh, Java dot UV, dot list, uh? Okay.
this tree rabbit, uh, uh, this one is, uh, is my hopula. How to sum up this tree rabbit? Huh? I use accumulate, you then follow. Again, you then follow. I declare variable called total. So from array index 0, dot size. Huh? You know what? What, what is this, right? Total equals to total plus your value I replace first one, 10. <coughs> I plus plus, 10 plus 5. 15, uh, uh, yeah, so if the total becomes 15, 15 plus this. So become the value of total. Then the average, how you find average? How you find average? Because the question is average for some student told me, Miss, my uh, uh, casting total divided by 3. Flexible or not? Next time you go 5 test and how? Go 5 test. Miss, change to 5 or? So in this subject, uh, not flexible. Because you're learning data structure. Like. So therefore, I divide by? I divide by? Score it size. Because the size indicates how many you have. Uh, this is my the output that I'm running on. At the end, you will, you will get this result. Are you okay? Can you try to do this at home? Because I'm going to be continue. Uh, do this question. Are you okay? Can I? You never learn GUI, right? GUI need gray. This one is the angle of Tommy. You all learn for the console only. So then for this question, I just want to let you know. Huh? You don't just apply for console. They can use it for your GUI. So the question two, I leave it to you to decide. Whether you want to do or not, I leave it to you. Because the, the GUI one, for your problem GUI, GUI for one, one sub subject for Java, no. Also no. So maybe for this one also need need, need some time. I, I think RIT student got one subject to learning this one for GUI. Okay? Uh sorry I have no time to guide you for this GUI things because normally I'm doing the pure code console one. Okay? So just to let you know this one how they call okay. Refer to this software. Refer to this one. Can I close this one? This one? So I create one main program called the method lah, for first question. Stop, huh? 
So when I run it for this, this this screen will be stay out. Pop up. So you enter for the registration number of a person. Huh? The code. After that, type in the the name here. Then you will click. Zero, we're passing it to store the runner. Runner, okay. So this one not as generic type. Generic type means next time my this assignment, I want to pass it store student. Can or not? Can. Your client uh, will declare this one passes as student. Uh, but before that, your assignment, or your code need to declare student. Uh, student class of uh, no? Then here you may change runner list dot add. So when you call runner list dot add, the add method, the parameter they pass in is, the parameter they pass in is, the constructor of, the constructor of runner. Okay, can you see? Runner, this one is a constructor, they create new, runner pass in the name. Because that's why I type in the name of the runner. One zero zero one is who? So the whole thing is they add in the object of runner in this runner name inside. Are you okay? So you you don't need to refer to the UI. I just want to focus on dot add the method that you call in a list. Are you okay with this? Yeah. 
for the display how the, the, the method they use how they, they can display out in this format so they are calling runner mm -hmm. please dot same pattern we just have to store this right am I right I just want to show you what I'm getting it is a consistent for the two questions this one is use UI, that one you use console. Okay? Then how you retrieve out the runner, you call dot. Runner is dot. Get yeah. Look here, I'm storing the different object one. This one is uh, 1001, this one is 1002. Sorry, 1000, this one is 1001. So you display them by calling off. Okay? Record, okay? How about record result? Save your ob ob object in a file, text file. Assignment that you use file? Use file before. If you didn't close your file, got, got anything happen or not? Uh? This code got problem. If you didn't close this, uh, the file is not being created because in the source code here, there's something sharing. Uh. Okay, JPT close means uh, this, this button. If you didn't close, they cannot write, they cannot write, uh, write object means uh, the whole things of this object will be right in your DAT file. Data file. The object one here, object two is here. I got tried before, I didn't close. Eh? Why my out, output file? Uh, output file, no data inside. The output file is here. The output file is called runner dot runner dot dat file. If any of you assignment, you would like to store your hard code data in the text file, you may use this up. If you don't like it to use, it's okay. Assignment not necessary, may use the text file. Just to let you know, this is a the mistake up. Mistake means if you didn't click close up, you cannot add this object runner to your dat file. You have problem when doing for these questions. So normally it's little part for mistake and sharing with you. Huh? Then after that, this EAT file. How I can retrieve out? So these two source code is empty uh, for your for your chapter one. These two method is empty. They want students to add on. So JPT number means uh, you type in the number. You type in the number, you press enter, retrieve out the name. Means that the, the number of the runner you store in your runner list, when user type in 1000, you need to go in this array, eh? search, compare. So you can use dot contain. Whether this runner object is same as the user type in or not. If same, display out the name. This is the expression required. Number. Find the number. Second one, confirm means confirm. Huh? When this button being click confirm, confirm, you add this name in this label. Because this person is First winner. First winner. To add them in here. So let's just try for the next one. Confirm. So 
these two codes given to you is empty here. If you would like to use uh, learning, that's it, then you may do so. Use back the same way, declare the, the loop to read them out. Because you do not know which which one is a name. So this one is compression. is they declare true. Why they declare true one? Why they de de declare true? From red, I just want to ask your okay. I cut in one one thousand one. They read from the the array right, the array call runner list. After that, you want to compare one zero zero one from the array list is which one ah? Uh? Oh, the next one is a pop. Pop will be at here, for example. So this one is a runner list. But when you click confirm, you will add. The object to the to the initial list. Why? Because later you need to display, ma. Display. This is a uh, any is the first one, the second one is who, third one is four. So therefore, you need two. You need two. Okay. Gotcha. Are you okay? Why I explain in this way? Because your assignment, uh, I will go through line by line of your source code. During presentation, I will ask you, hey, why your main program, uh, you declare so many objects, eh? why? Uh? You explain to me, uh, you don't say, huh? Please, I don't know. You are the, the author. Eh? So as here in this source code, I explain to you why here declare two, compared with just now, just declare one. So this is uh, the, the reason. Uh, okay? Uh, anymore, I have You, how your uh, planning style when you do your work, uh, your daily work, are you using stack? Stack means uh, uh, today is Wednesday, or let's say Monday, the, the work like this, yesterday, stack. Today, you have to do this uh, practical, stack over. Tomorrow, stack over. So when you will start to do your work, you stack over, is it? So stack over, accumulate until your lot of work, right? So when you were planning to do that, 
You start from the Monday one or you start from your most recent one? I ask you a question for step. Step, step. You start with the most recent one, right? Maybe during weekend, huh? Saturday. The most recent one is your Friday work, huh? You will do Friday work first. After finish, do the Thursday. So your Monday one, huh? Will be at the at the bottom. So step means last thing first up. Last thing first up. Before is last in first out one. The one Friday one is a last in right. Last in means your last added reason added will be the first. First going out. Going out means remove huh? In means insert. Out means remove. I need to cover in practicals for step itself. I draw it like this one step. Okay. When you add in your item, you remove out. You will refer to the top one. But because the top one is a reason you added that in. So in this special, we would like to check the bracket whether it's balanced or not. You may use stack. So for this part, uh, the algorithm is given like this lah. Huh? For you, the way how you do it for check your your method. This is method lah. Huh? Passing the parameter. So since I given you this, I show you my one. Huh? So when you import your java.ut.stack, what is the method available in .stack? So they consist of this basic one is five. Why? I just use for this uh, questions. Huh? The rest, uh, they still a lot. Huh? So push means, push means add it. Push means add. You add to the stack. Top means you would like to you would like to remove them up. So it's a it's a different terms. Again, this one I screenshot from your notes. Don't worry, this one is in your notes. Because for me I need to prepare my homework before I plan my for my teaching. Up, right? I don't want to open the chapter this and that and make it confused. So I put it in one form. Okay? Third one, check whether your this stack itself is empty. So just to let you know, stack uh, is a bit special, you know. They already implement as an array. So you no need to import the array. Stack don't have the array because stack itself is already is a array. Not like just how the list. List you import after that, you have to import java.ut.array list. So stack itself here already implemented as an array. So that's why they allow you to check whether your stack is empty or not. Uh. Pick means, pick means, uh, let's say I already push in two value. Pick means, uh, now the arrays of this value, what is the value that at the top you would like to display? Pick means same as just now the list called get. You know get, uh, but get, uh, you click only. Are you okay? If okay, then I ask you a question. What's the difference between pick and pop? Uh? Pick and pop Pick and pop. Both also will be referring to the top value. Or. This is also referring to the top value. This one also referring to the top value. This is the top value. What's the difference? Yes? Yeah, you're right. Pop means this one will be removed out, then the index uh, will be updated. This one index is one. Uh, array, uh. Index zero, index one. Pop means when this one removed out, Sorry, when we support out, the index will be minus minus. Become 
zero. Why? Because original you are one. Ma. Now you plot all this. One. How to become zero? Minus, minus one. So one minus minus you become zero. If you push them in, your index will be plus plus one. Pick only display. What is the current value at here? Without remove. Clear it means here, ah, remove everything. Okay. Now this is to show that you would like to use this, you need to import this. You have to import this java.ut.stack. After that, okay. so again, this one you can create one main program, then create a method called check balance. So this one is main program, ah. in the live program, main program. After that, runner. Now this is a character. So this structure, array, uh, sorry, stack, is called my stack. You can give your own name lah, if you don't, don't like this name. Okay? Change the name lah. Maybe you can call balance or parenthesis. Your 
PDF. PDF one of you. Ah, now this time you use uh, the what's the name of this? Uh, the input lah, uh, the parameter for input lah. Uh, parameter name for the asset in the check balance method is for input lah. Uh, I read the input. So this input. That's why I mentioned for string itself, you want to know you cannot call for size. You have to call dot string, string, string. You have to call dot length. So I try to convert your algorithm in, into the source code. Lah. Okay? And you have to read in this character. Now you read in this character. you need to declare a variable called child variable name ah. variable name ah. equal how I read this this one is the whole as a string but now I want to read the first one hmm? so I declare the, the i as 0 I use dot dot Am I confuse you? Ah? Huh? Okay. Then after that, use switch case. Ah? If you don't want to use switch case, use nested if. Ah? Because I saw your algorithm sharing in the classroom is using switch case. So put in your this value. This one. Check if belong to one of them. Ah? If yes, what you should do? Sometimes you have error, array, oh no, sorry, stack out of bound. Have you seen this with big block? You say array? No, ah. Wow, oh, you're so expert, ah. For me, sometimes I use it array, I keep on remove, remove, ah, forgot to check whether it's empty or not. They will say array out of bound. Here, I didn't use the array, they will display stack out of bound. You know, out of bound. Out of bound means your array. No way. Really. You keep on want to remove that out. So because of that uh, problem, I put in check. Here check ah. Uh. If you don't want to check up to you. 
because you so far you don't have a ray out about this issue lah. so for me I check first if the stack already empty no point I go to pop them out right already empty ma. just direct return force ha. is it okay this one is a lo logic ah. so else still got value ma. right it's not empty ma. then I will call my stack dot pop so this form they pop it now I saw it the one variable call open uh. now I'm reading in this that's how I read I think you stop right remember yeah yeah the hard one uh. I stop there because of this one is a close bracket uh. close bracket don't push them in open bracket push them into the stack when you detect they are open, uh, sorry, close bracket, it's a time for you to pop them out. Okay? The sequence, huh? So once I pop them out, store at here, this, very, uh, this variable, your implementation is not finished yet because you need to, again, if you don't like to use a switch, you can use this, this one. Because sometimes students told me, Miss, I don't like to use the switch and case. But some students say, okay, easy. So switch and case is the same. Huh? This two, you choose one. Huh? For me, I use this. Huh? Open and close. Check whether they are in, in pair or not. Are you okay? Check they are, whether they are in, in pair or not. So this part is to check whether they are in pair or not. If they are in pair, then you will you will go to return and read for the next one because this one no more already right no more the index two already finished index two already finished but well, this one is still got still got value right so once you read in this one in, in pair you will go up to the loop to check again you got any value or not no value, but your stack is not empty. Oh. Can you see here? Your stack is not empty. So can you continue this? Can you continue this logically? You know more value to push in, but your stack still got value. Anything to compare? No more. So direct return? Direct return? Awesome. Question one and three for this weekend. This weekend three or not? Hmm? So maybe this one call three method right? The pop, the push. One more is my step dot. Huh? Hey, hello, three method. Push pop. One more is what? It's empty. If you want to check for which one is a value at the top, also can. We display out what's the value at. At the top now, compare with the one you read in. Also, okay. For me, I didn't copy lah. I use this three. Pop, push, pop, and it's empty. In order to solve this question three. Uh, expression, you know what I mean by expression? Uh? 
you know, expression, uh, mathematic expression. Operation. You know mathematics operation? Ah? That means 6 plus 2 is 8. 5 multiply 3, 15. 8 divided by 15. You get this result. You are doing mathematical result. You get what I mean? A uh, student trying ah, because they they calling the method for uh, stack. I still accept. So I told my student the result for me it's okay, even though you are doing the mathematic result. But suppose this answer for this question requires this format. User enter like this, correct? Enter by user, line program, main program. Your result should be like this. But if you want to do this, this one needs two steps. Two steps. For me, one step is to store each of these single character. Another step is to store when they when they can I use the word con concept? Can have you heard before con con concept? No, no. I am join, I am join, ah. Join these two as one string. Then this one, I push them in into the another step. So that's why I mentioned this question is a bit tough for you, ah. So therefore, if you would like to just test it for push and pop, show the result, this one I accept as well. You are doing a good job already. But after that, if you want to learn it more, suppose this question you have to declare two steps. One step is to store the value. So I, I just simplify. Huh? This one, when you should push them in to the step. When you encounter there, when you encounter, uh, this also same using dot dot child x. You want to try to do that? You have to declare the method called evaluate for this for pushing ah the method ah. You just say passing child as well. This one called opera step. This one called opera step. I store this one as a character. Some students say, uh, Miss, I want to store integer. Up to you. Lah. I saw character here. So when I should push them in, when I should push them in is, I use this method. I search online. Have you seen before this one? Never used before. Hello. Yes or no? Never. Okay, then sharing up. Huh? I use this in the code. When I read this, it should dot chow at same thing, huh? Input dot chow at index zero. This one. Dot chow at index zero. I check whether this correct this value huh? is it a digit or not? This one is a comma. This one is a comma. <coughs> this is a command. I'm not sure this question you want to do now. I, I just follow for you. Huh? If they are the digit, then what should I do? What should I do? I call opera stack dot push up. Push the whole thing. Okay. This one you can store in one variable. Huh? Because I'm I'm lazy to get so many variables. So that's why I direct. Read them in. So push them in six. Huh? <coughs> then I plus plus again. Huh? Read in second one, two. Two is a digit or not? Yes. 
Okay. Ni. I plus plus. Oh, now is plus or what you should do? Now is plus or what you should do? So you may use nested if lor. Read in. Just now is plus. I check whether it belong to one of the operator or not here. You see this one using single character. Check. If yes, they are one of them, it's a time for you to pop them out. So the rules here mention is when you encounter their digit or letter, lah, maybe next time I, I put A B C lah, A plus B. So push them in when you encounter their letter or their digit. When you encounter their operator, it's a time for you to Them out. So when you pop them out, uh, how you arrange them? How you arrange them? So here, when I pop the value at the top here, this one, uh, I store in a, I store in a another variable called you, you declare one more variable uh, you declare a string because later you need to join them. You need to join them like this. So when the value at the top, I pop them out, uh, I store in right. The bottom this I store in, I store in left. You know why? Ah? You know why you have to separate two or not? Some students say this, no need left and right. Lah. First one means I just store in left, right. But <laughs> after that, your arrangement is different from the user input left. You get it? The value that you put all this, you store in the right. Lah. This one you store in the left. After that, now you got left and right. What you should do? Ah? Join up, con concat up. Concat means using the plus sign. Have you used before string? You want to join A, B, you using? You using a plus. Plus, uh. plus means join the two string as one. So join them in. Uh. So once you join them in, here I didn't continue because I don't want to make it so stressed because you need actually to prepare another step. This one you need to store in another variable, right? Call this one as... Call this one for... Maybe string, 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 step. So you have to push them in again. Then you continue to read. Lah. But currently, today first class, we just learn from one step. To step push them in for one. Don't, don't do two. Lah. After that, you got a lot of errors. So you try your best to do the question one and three now. After you have completed, lah, you know already, you want to continue to do this question? Okay, we pass it. So the the result of this is the result. In the result, if you do it, want to do the mathematical operations, sum up them, divide them, also can up to you. So you know how to call the methods because this question is for application. Right. Is it okay? So what you learn for today, ah, right? We make a conclusion summary. This one, sorry, today you have no, no time to type in your next thing and so on. What you learn? Don't know. Ah. I'm talking about two hours and eh? don't stop one and a half hour. Eh? Huh? This is like how to apply, right? How to apply. Apply into different scenario, right? Maybe it's a, a runner, uh, uh, check the balance, uh, then check for the expression. Is it okay? Then what method available in this Java API? Dot add, dot get, for list, right? Dot size. For stack is push, pop, p. It's empty. This is 
is the one that I do like, I do, I, do, I just do. I used to, one is storing character, this one is storing. And this one is storing. This one is storing. I declare two. One is storing a single one, this one is storing the, the string. If you would like to take a challenge, if you don't want, just do one first. Huh? Huh? The, the output is 0 0.5333. Huh? This one I, I declare two, but the code is a bit longer. Label here. Can I use it as good two? Go ahead, good two. Can I? No, your books one. Uh, this one. No, I put good two. Ma. Can I? Yeah, good two. Ah. The good two you will be at here. Maybe I put it. Friday classes. For me, I do this up. For this. 